Base is usually a round vessel of greater depth than width and chiefly used as an ornament for holding flowers or other objects such as candles. You can upgrade any room in your home by a simple DIY vase. This is such a simple touch that will have a powerful impact. And you can make a statement by placing the vase anywhere in your home, your bedroom, your entryway, or kitchen. Ping pong balls are not only used for the sport, but can be used to make a nice decor piece with the ability to put live or full flowers inside to enhance the beauty of the vase. The supplies needed for this DIY include 48 ping pong balls, hot glue, Kylon gold spray paint, one small spice jar, dried or real flowers. This was inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. First, you need to decide on the height of your vase. Then you start by gluing two sets of three ping pong balls together and put one ping pong ball on each side to make a square. Now this is done six times, so you should have six squares. But if you want a taller base, you can do it seven, eight, or nine times. So then you're going to put them on top of each other until you have done all six. If you don't get them straight, you can remove them and try re-gluing, but it may be a little tough, but it can be done. After that, you will take it outside and spray on all sides. You let it dry, and then you're going to turn it upside down and spray again. That way, you will get in between all of the ping pong balls, and then you can spray also inside. I sprayed mine gold, but you can spray it white, pink, silver, or a mixture such as black and white or pink and white. When it is all completed, you add your florals and style. Isn't this lovely? Next, I saw this really cool candle holder that was very modern and I just love the aesthetics of the look. I had all of the supplies on hand to craft this beautiful candle holder. One small tin can, a drill, one small bolt or screw, some flat black rust-oleum spray, a wire wreath with a small opening, one wooden ball with an opening on one side, needle nose pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, and a candle. Mine just happened to have the candle already inside the tin. However, you can take a small tin can, take a candle and melt it down, and put in the wick and pour the candle in the tin. If you do it this way, I suggest that you spray the tin can first. So I had a 10 inch wire wreath that had a protrusion that stuck out with an opening that would fit a small screw or bolt. So I took my wire cutter and determined how much wire I would need and cut it. But as I was bending the wire, the part with the protrusion snapped off. So I had to start over. However, the other end of the wire wreath was usable. So this time, I carefully bent the wire, took my needle nose pliers, and bent the other end to fit it snugly into the opening of the wooden ball. Now it was time to drill a hole into the lower end of the can with a small drill bit. Once that was done, I took the bolt and twisted it into the can with a Phillips screwdriver. And that was with the little protrusion that had an opening. I had to cover the candle with the cardboard and then spray matte black paint because I didn't want my candle to have the paint on it. I love the modern look. So if you have liked what you have seen, please subscribe, like, save, and comment. I am nearing 400 subscribers, so help a girl out so I can reach my goal within the next two weeks. And remember, kindness is loaning someone your strength instead of reminding them of their weakness. So take care. See you later. Bye-bye.